Hey there, it's Matt Williams from UAV Hub, back to give you an update on some comms we've just received from the CAA surrounding drone operators being able to overfly uninvolved people with their drones in the UK when operating in the specific category. So those people who have done their training courses and hold an operational authorization from the CAA. As I mentioned in the last video a couple of days ago, I said we'd asked the CA for clarification on this topic because there was a rumour floating around that they were going to stop drone operators being able to overfly uninvolved people when flying under something called the PDRA-01. This rumour suggested that instead of just having to maintain 50 metres separation from uninvolved people, which currently allows you to overfly them with a 50 metre bubble around the drone, the rumour was that we were going to have to maintain 50 metres horizontal separation, just like back in the bad old days in the wild west of the drone industry. To give the CA the Jews on this one, just a few days after we formally posed the question to them, they've just announced that... We acknowledge that there is interest in the UK CAA's current and future approach to minimum distances stated in a specific category UAS operational authorisation. As the UK's independent air safety regulator, the CAA is committed to continuous improvement when it comes to protecting the safety of third parties who encounter aviation in any form. With the increase in UAS operations, it is important that we frequently review our existing risk assessments and associated policies. This includes the risk assessment that underpins the PDRA-01 operational authorization. The adoption of the open category system and its design using horizontal distances has afforded the CAA an opportunity to examine how PDRA-01 should work as both a replacement for the legacy permission for commercial operations and a building block above the open A3 subcategory. Once this review is complete, any clarifications on the requirements of PDRA-01 and other specific category operational authorization will be issued. In the interim period, UAS operators should continue to fly in accordance with the text of their existing operational authorization while remaining cognizant of their duty under Article 241 of the Air Navigation Order 2016, and in brackets, UK SI 2016-765, to ensure they do not negligently or recklessly endanger any person or property with their UAS. Further advice is contained within CAP 722, and all remote pilots should fly with safety as their primary aim. So what's the bottom line for us then? Well, for now, things remain the same for PDRA-01 holders and you can overfly uninvolved people where it's safe and appropriate to do so, provided that you minimise exposure to the risk whenever possible and, as we've mentioned before, bear in mind the wording in Article 241. However, as part of the deal with operating under the PDRA system, if you're going to work within a framework that uses a CAA-managed risk assessment to allow you to operate your drone it is within their remit to review and change the risk assessment as they see fit. So if they review it and decide that they're no longer happy to own the risk of you overflying and involve people with your drone, then unfortunately that's within their gift to do and the only way to get around it for now will be to either one, operate a drone under 249 grams in the open category or to two, create your own safety management system, your own SMS and submit a case one application via the CAA and the OSC process that proves that you have the mitigations in place to safely overfly uninvolved people. I hope that brings a bit more clarity to the current situation for you and as and when we hear the outcome of this review, we will of course let you know as soon as we're able to do so. In the meantime, please pop your thoughts, comments and questions down below and I'll do my very best to answer them for you. Or if I can't, I will seek clarification from the CAA like I have done with this one for us all and try and bring you that information here as quickly and succinctly as I can. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with any future announcements. Until the next time, thanks for joining us. I've been Matt Williams. Fly safe and blue skies.